Welcome to another enthralling edition of the Breakpoint Show, where you have free access to all things tennis in Mzansi. Let's check out what has been hot and happening on and off the court this month. In an exciting step forward for the sport, Tennis South Africa hosted three high-profile junior international tournaments in July and August respectively, including the first ever ITF Grade 1 event to be held in the country. The junior series opened with an ITF Grade 2 tournament at the Kuro Hillcrest in Durban. The ITF tournaments are the gold standard in junior and professional tennis and put South Africa on the map and provide an opportunity for our local juniors to be exposed to top talent which not only improves their game but also their ranking. We want to be aligned and associated with um, being at the forefront of junior tennis development in South Africa and so being aligned to one of the biggest tournaments in Africa in 2022 is a no-brainer for us. I am currently playing the uh, ITF J1 tournament in Kiro Hillcrest um, which is a part of TSA and I'm just really excited and like privileged to be a part of this tournament because I get to play uh, players from part, different parts of the world. It's obviously a higher level tournament than what I'm used to play and lately I have been playing these high um, level tournaments. So training before, getting all the physical training, being um, healthy, but not even, uh, not only for tennis, but physically fit as well. I have no pressure in these tournaments, so I feel like I can always play my best tennis because, I mean, if uh, there's pressure, of course, you may be sometimes not playing, but I think without the pressure, it's much better for me. It is a huge privilege to be playing a J1 on my home, home grounds here in Cairo Hillcrest, and I'm so privileged to be a part of this event. I mean, it's a great uh, privilege to be able to play at this level. You know, the people that are coming here, they're all over the world, and it's a great experience, you know, just to be able to play amongst these people who potentially could be, you know, the next best thing. I'm going to play the same. It's obviously a little bit higher tournament, but I'm going to play the same, feeling conf very confident in my game lately. So try to finish every point at the net, and yeah, feel very confident for the next week. Well, because I got a wild card into the main draw of this tournament, I'm just um, expecting just just like play my best, play freely, because there's really no expectations. So I don't need to be like nervous or anything. So I'm just here to play. Um, yeah, just play my try, play my best. I just started playing against this level, so it's very interesting to see where I'm at and what I need to work on. I have prepared really well for this tournament. I am mentally prepared. I am ready to give it my everything. I hope to at least win my first round here. Last week I was a bit nervous, you know, so I'm going to try and just be within myself with the tournament and just not um, stress too much, you know, just try and have fun. Because I mean, pretty much got nothing to lose. Last week I felt like I had something to lose. Playing with the cameras and everything, it felt a little bit of nerves. So this week hopefully I'll be able to put those nerves, nerves aside. I feel pretty confident in the um, tournament that's coming up. And it's a great event hosted by the ITF Tennis and Tennis South Africa. And I feel pretty confident this week and going into the week with lots of confidence, yeah. It's been so awesome putting these events together and uh, they don't just happen. So uh, a special thanks to our sponsors. A massive thank you to everybody involved. South Africa's top junior player, Devin Bardenost, beat Antoine Gibadou from France to win the Kiro ITF Junior Grade 2 tournament. The third-seeded Bardenos rounded off an impressive week by edging out fourth-seeded Kivadu in front of his home crowd in order to secure his first ITF Grade 2 singles title. Good positive play from Matt Love Devin Bardenos. Yeah, it means a lot to me. I feel pretty confident this week and I played well, so very proud of my performance. My game's improved on the net a lot and that's what this week was all about for me to get into the net and finish the points there and I feel pretty confident around the net. I'm feeling very confident about next week, obviously trying to go for another title. Yeah. But yeah, just try, trying my best to keep my body and everything healthy. <laughs> I'm going to go play US Open after this and see how it goes there. Try to win first Grand Slam, just going to do my best and see how it goes. Knowing that I can compete on that level as we have the tournaments here now as well so I feel pretty confident going to the Grand Slams. And that is it ladies and gentlemen your champion is Devin Bardenost. 
Meanwhile, in the girls' event, there was no stopping Malak El Alami of Morocco. The 16-year-old teen, who reigned supreme all week long without dropping a single set, defeated Daja Suvajinkova in the final to clinch her first junior grade 2 title. That gets this match underway and uh, scores the first point then of this final. I'm happy I won uh, and I'm glad I put up a good fight because it was a good match, a great opponent. And also, um, yeah, I, I had to win because uh, you, you need to win to improve sometimes because you, you step to another level. And I also wish a quick recovery to my opponent who got injured on the first round. Sometimes it's hard because it's not the same style game. So yeah, in play, I can I have my time to, to, to make the game. Here sometimes I'm running late, but I try to make up for it by being present physically and try to anticipate the game. I still have a final today. I have to focus on two. And then I'm going to try to rest quickly and get back to work to do a great result in the grade one as well. In the junior, when you do like some unforced errors, it's okay. You can uh, you can uh, make up for it. But when you do it on the WTA tour, you you can't because they're taking profit of it, and you can't uh, get back to it. And that's a game set and match. It is Alalami that takes this one without dropping the sets and wraps up the title here at Kiro Hillcrest. It's great. Uh, the, the, the air is clean. It's amazing. The people are so kind. The organization was great. Everything was amazing. Straight after in week two, the players battled it out for the ITF Junior Grade 1 tournament at Kiro Hillcrest in Durban. The tournament marks the first International Tennis Federation Junior Grade 1 event hosted in South Africa. You know, some of the success stories was Devin Bardnost. He still made quarters. We had uh, the girls, our girls making semis, but if you asked me at the beginning of the week uh, would I be happy with what's happened over the fortnight, I'd say a resounding yes. The top seeded Brit, Ella McDonald, and second seeded American, Leonard Boiga, claimed their first ITF Junior Grade 1's girls and boys single titles respectively at the Kiro ITF Junior Series in Durban. Yeah, I thought it was a tough battle out there, but pulled through, played my game and style and got the win. Very happy. First of all, thank you so much for, I mean, the congratulations. And I mean, um, I played, I think I played uh, one of the best matches of my life currently, like in the shape I'm in. Um, coming off a lot of losses in the past coming month, in the past months. And I mean, being able to pull out my first grade one victory is just, is an amazing experience. These events provide a great platform for some of our rising junior stars to test themselves against the world's best without having to travel outside of South Africa. Thanks to Kira Holdings for their support and for making the ITF Junior Grade 1 and 2 tournaments possible. Let's take a quick ad break. We'll be back with more of your tennis updates. Welcome back. You're still watching Breakpoint, Mzansi's only tennis show. And another breakthrough for local junior tennis the third and final tournament of the series, the Samai Junior Open. An elite ITF Grade A event was held at the Tux Tennis University of Pretoria. The event returned for the third year but has been moved from Cape Town to Tuane in partnership with Tux Sport. The Samai Junior Open is named after South African tennis legend David Samai who passed away in 2019. So when uh, four years ago, when South Africa was the first country in Africa to to be awarded uh, the privilege of hosting a, a Grade A, the the Board of Tennis South Africa took the unanimous decision to to name the event uh, after one of our top. Uh, former players, particularly uh, from the disadvantaged era, David Somai, is a small way that tennis can start recognizing, particularly those former players uh, from the disadvantaged uh, era or the dif disadvantaged groups uh, who, who never got the recognition that they should have. We as a family, are, we are very honored. Um, 
for the incredible standard of play and he would have been so proud. Um, he used to mentor junior players and I'm sure he's smiling from above. We are at definitely improving over the last couple of years. Um, we've had these tournaments that we are having here right now, the JA, that helps us um, you know, see the international level. For us being so far away from you know, European standards, it's, it's tough to measure ourselves. So there's, there's a way to go to get um, to you know, international levels, but these tournaments help our players to see the level and to realise that you know, we are not far off. This is definitely an under 18 boys and girls tournament. The best of the best all over the world come to play this tournament. So I think as the week goes further on, the tennis is going to heat up and get far more competitive. We've got a few South African boys and girls that are obviously vying for the title. We're, they're really working hard. We have a Devon Bardenos, which is our highest ranked boy at the moment, and Haki Anzafan fear and she's won her match today through to the second round so I think the tennis is just going to get even better and better. In 2019 when we had our first Grade 8 tournament we saw Paul Monsi winning the boys section and that catapulted him into prominence. Yeah it's very important for us to have uh, tournaments like this you know it was a huge stepping stone for me to get me into the top 20 and uh, just give me exposure to play against you know some of the best players in the world and um, you know I'm glad to see that we're slowly getting more and more of these tournaments because it's definitely helping a lot of our players you know it's going to help Devon now go into the top 20 which is a very big achievement for him so I'm glad Tennis South Africa is doing things like this. This tournament is one of only six junior grade A tournaments on the international circuit. Grade A tournaments are the most prestigious events on the ITF Junior Tour and carry the highest ranking points, which not only attract some of the world's best young players to the capital city, but also give young South African prospects a chance to rake in points on home soil. This one is very important. I mean, it helps you with your ranking. It helps you with your tennis, especially with all these great players here. So very excited. Look, uh, I had to first qualify and the guys I was playing were really tough, but I really enjoyed myself in the end. Uh, one of my best performances. So just it's a learning curve for me and hopefully I can improve on it. I just got to see the level which people internationally are at. You know, so it also gives me a, a greater direction of where I need to improve and where I should be and where, how to get there. Um, so there are a really lot of good players here, and so because I got a wild card into the, tourna the both tournaments, I didn't have I didn't have any expectations. I just came out to play, just to compete, just so I could see where my level is at with the other players from other places. And I think I, um, with the first tournament, I played much better because I. Like I had, it was just like my first, so I didn't have any expectations, and so um, I competed more. I, was, I wasn't nervous or anything. But with my match now, because I played in the first um, tournament and I won that one, I was just a bit anxious, loose, and I just didn't get my results that I wanted. So yeah. It's a last junior year. It's probably like one of our last junior tournaments in Africa, in South Africa as well. So we want to do well here at home. We're playing in our hometown and um, a lot of, we have a lot of support, we want to make the fans happy and the, everyone happy, the coaches happy and stuff um, and also get our rankings up to be getting to the top 100 for next year for the futures um, and also going into the junior years open, get a ranking up as high as possible to get a chance to get in there and go and play in, at the junior years open so it's really really important for us. I need to take my big points and and everyone on this level is it's the same level. It's just the one that plays better that wins the day. I think it's the same level and it's great for us as South Africans to have these tournaments in South Africa to get used to that level. Um, it was great to play at home for once after being in Europe for so long. I loved it playing in South Africa and it was a great experience. Um, it's very nice to have this big of a tournament, creating an opportunity for a lot of South African tennis players to take part and having the experience to play like a top 30 in, in the world. It's very nice. Yeah. The Grand Slams, the four Grand Slams are what these kids are all playing for to get into so that when they become seniors it's also a bit easier easier to start their professional career over the age of 18. As we celebrate Women's Month, we took some time to reflect on women's tennis in South Africa to measure how far we have come as a country in transforming society and giving women an equal opportunity, especially women in sport. Yes, today we are celebrating Women's Day. Hopefully it's a great one for everybody here. I think young ladies in tennis learn a lot. They learn that independence on the court. They learn discipline, self-discipline, and it's also a way of carrying yourself. And I think what they can take away from this tournament is 
how to act professionally, but to be competitive and never to be scared of being themselves, their true selves, on and off of court and in life. Yeah, I saw a lot of places I wouldn't have saw without tennis and made a lot of best friends like Taylor Wilmot that was standing here with me. And yeah, it just gained me a lot of experience, confidence and independency with tennis, yes. Yes, it has opened a couple of doors that I never knew like were there and look where I am now. Like a year ago, I didn't even know about like ITF tournaments and now I'm playing in one of the biggest ones, so I guess, yeah. Um, I just want to uh, like thank all the um, women, like all the mothers, coaches and every uh, woman out there just for like I'm really grateful for you being here. I mean I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my mom and just the support that she gives me and love, nurturing that I get from my mom is just really um, lovely and so just wishing all the women out there happy Women's Day. <laughs> After putting up another fight in front of his home crowd, South African favourite Devin Bardenost stumbled at the final hurdle as he was edged out by French player Antoine Gibadou in the boys' singles final at the Samai Junior Open in Swani. Meanwhile, in the girls' singles final, top seed Sofia Kostoulis of Belgium defeated unseeded Turkish player Melissa Erchan to clinch the final. Yeah, it means a whole lot, like uh, winning a tournament is always special and especially here in South Africa where I came from the first time, so yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, I, I wanted to take my revenge of <laughs> two weeks ago <laughs> and I I get it, so yeah. I'm very happy about this. I think a big tournament for my, my career, it's yeah. the biggest uh, I won, mm. so very happy uh, and I'm very excited for the for the future. Uh, we're very excited about the junior tennis in South Africa specifically. Um, we have seen now with Devon, Heike, Janse van Vieren um, and Arne Nel performing very well in the Grade 8 tournament. And we've seen uh, Isabella Crea doing very well at the uh, Junior Wimbledon earlier this year. So we're very excited. We've got lots of junior players. we have uh, looking at expanding the uh, current ITF circuit, uh, junior circuit of 14 tournaments to 17 next year. And this is over and above the 142 TSA ranking tournaments that we have across the country every year. So we would like to encourage our juniors to enter and play. There are so many opportunities that we have now created for our junior players. And this is, of course, over and above all the schools, leagues and festivals that we do have. A gripping three weeks of non-stop quality tennis action ticked all the boxes of the ITF's objective of giving these budding juniors an opportunity to travel the world and develop their skills. A training clinic was recently held in Springbok, which promoted tennis development in the Northern Cape, the home of former Davis Cup star Jeff Kitsia. Over 85 learners from schools in Bergsich, Oki, Springbok, Nababib, Karusburg and Matiskluf took part, with Tennis South Africa and its partners BNP Pariba and RCS Group donating equipment to help young players prepare for the BNP Pariba RCS Rising Star Tennis Series. We are very, very happy and glad for Tennis SA that they at long last look to us and listen to us here in the outskirts of Namakwalem and uh, we are starving for this kind of thing and we are very much appreciated, uh, uh, a, a lot of appreciation to Tennis uh, uh, South Africa and BNP Paribas for availing uh, uh, sponsorship, for availing their time, for availing their efforts and give us equipment to, to start tennis at schools. We definitely need to sit down and work out a proper plan to be uh, structured in terms of developing uh, tennis. What we'll do is we'll engage with the Department of Education, we'll engage with Tennis Namakwa and, and the Sport Council in the area and sit together around the table and work out a plan. I think tennis changed in this last two years when the Rising Star is involved here. Yeah. And you see this like like this, um, and I think from now, from this time, it's need to go forward. First thing, thing is we we'll, we we'll have to engage the schools. Secondly, we we need to ensure that there is infrastructure, and we'll have to engage with the municipalities. Infrastructure is very much important. Then uh, skills development is critical. We need to have uh, administration training, uh, coaches training. Uh, 
yeah, to ensure that we have the correct skills to implement tenants in this area. Uh, the last one is to ensure that we do it sustainable. Not once off, but not, not once off, but sustainable so that we can develop, so that we can have future stars coming from this area. The BNP Paribas RCS Rising Star Tennis Series has been expanded this season, reaching more children and schools and making a bigger difference through grassroots development as the tournament returns for highly anticipated third edition. There's no competitions in Amakwa. Rising Star is now bringing that platform to Namakwa. There's now competitions. The Rising Star is having this competition and the kids are gearing themselves out. I want to play in the Rising Star. If we win here, we go to the provincial. We almost won the provincial last year. Uh, what a previously disadvantaged team. And it, it will happen in the near, near future. But at least Rising Star has now opened the door for a lot of kids. Last year when we played the Rising Star, I lost, but I enjoyed it a lot and I learned a lot more from just winning the game. I made new friends with the opponents I played against. There were a lot of people, but that was fine with me because I like being around people. And it was just nice for me to play for the competition for SA. I think that um, the last year that I was here, the kids let grow and um, as more talent, that we are finally happy that the Rising Star competition has come to the Namakwa land. Uh, sport development, especially on, amongst young people and learners, is critical and it has a huge significance in the development and the sustainable development of sport in the entire region. Therefore, we take it uh, by heart. We are excited for this uh, momentous occasion that we had here today to launch primary school development in tennis. And we seek to, to take hands with the Sport Forum, the, uh, the Sport Federation, Tennis South Africa, Tennis Namakwa, learners and schools to take hands to develop, to develop tennis in this area. It's critical and uh, we're excited, we're extremely excited. We want to make sure that tennis is alive and well in, in the Namakwa district. During the holidays, I went to Kimberley, I came back, we went to Joburg. And now I think I can do way better than last year because I've learned a lot while the few months that has passed now, I've learned a lot more. I'm sure that we have the quality to compete at national level, provincial level, and compete at the, the national tournament that, 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 that the department is hosting at the annual basis. The BNP Paribas RCS Rising Star Tennis Schools Clinics are amongst a handful of activations being held around the country in a build-up to a highly anticipated third edition of the Nationwide Series. The fourth and final training clinic of the year will be held in Mafiking Northwest. We have reached the end of the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, you too can be part of the show. If you want to be featured in our next episode of The Breakpoint Show, share your photos or videos of your tennis program using hashtag Breakpoint Show and tag us on all social media platforms. On Twitter, we are at TennisSA. On Facebook, it's Tennis South Africa. Or simply hop onto Instagram. It's Tennis double underscore SA. Until next month, remember, keep watching, supporting and playing the beautiful game that being tennis.